After years of waiting, we finally get the return of who is arguably the most popular side character in Samurai Jack lore. I'm talking about the Scotsman, voiced expertly by John DiMaggio, a famous voice actor who's done a lot of characters like Bender from Futurama and Jake the Dog from Adventure Time, returns to take on the evil Aku. And just as soon as he is reintroduced, he is immediately killed. Bold decision. That's all I'm really going to say. I can't believe that after waiting this long, they kill off the Scotsman in like an almost funny, ridiculous, and over-the-top fashion. I will say, at least he got to make one hell of an entrance in the beginning of the episode when he and this massive army of tanks and rhinos and like hundreds of his giant overgrown super muscular daughters decide to storm Aku's castle, and what I love most about it is that he's in a friggin' wheelchair being pushed by one of his daughters, and yet he's still fighting back with his magic sword as well as his brand new Gatling gun leg. Just saying that out loud is awesome. And what about that eye patch? It's a freaking plaid eye patch. How awesome is that? One of the funniest things about this scene is that Aku is just sitting in his tower, completely annoyed, as if the neighbors have actually turned up their stereo too loud. So he's decided to go outside and blow off some steam by completely decimating this army and all of the Scotsman's forces. The Scotsman ensures that his daughters are able to escape, but not before he can have one final confrontation with the Lord of Darkness himself. And being the Scotsman, of course, he takes his time to completely obliterate this guy with his amazing insults. But like I said, it's very short-lived as Aku is not even interested and just immediately blasts him with some eye lasers. And that's it. He's a freaking Scottish skeleton in a wheelchair at that point and Aku returns to his tower. The good news is that the Scotsman is still going to be around in the series as he immediately turns into a ghost, a younger version of himself, and it seems like he's actually going to be able to communicate with his daughters from the dead, as well as trying to form some sort of plan to get a hold of Jack, and maybe even create some sort of massive army so that they can go up against Aku and finish him off for good. And you know what's really crazy? This was just like the first five minutes of this week's episode. The rest of the episode is dedicated to Jack and Ashi going on a journey to the city of Aku, where Jack is trying to convince Ashi of the evil of Aku, showing what he's done, how he's oppressed the people, and even how certain villages are actually being completely ransacked, and the children are being stolen by this weird robotic organization, which is reprogramming these little blue alien people and transforming them into basically mindless drone killing machines. And this leads to this really awesome sequence where both Jack and Ashi manage to infiltrate this place with Jack going up against like hundreds of these like man-eating monster kids and Ashi going up against their robotic leader and actually managing to take him out after being captured. This whole scene is really great as we finally get back to what I like to consider kind of like the futuristic steampunk look of Samurai Jack. Everything's all like black and red and mysterious and very much like Aku, very cold and lifeless. I really freaking love it. What's most interesting, however, is that Ashi not only manages to overcome the odds and save these children, but to Jack it looks like they've actually been killed, and he starts to suffer from like another panic and anxiety attack when he's suddenly confronted by that mysterious samurai with glowing green eyes again, who decides to take him into this glowing green mist, which Jack seems to be completely okay with, is almost as if he's being entranced by some sort of evil spirit. And before Ashi can make amends with Jack, the episode ends. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Samurai Jack? This was, just like last week's episode, a very classic episode of Samurai Jack. It really felt like one of the old ones, and it fits perfectly into the lore of the series. I know that some fans are going to be severely disappointed by the fact that the Scotsman is killed off so easily, uh, and I have to admit I was really shocked when that actually happened, but I love that he's still at least going to be a part of the story, and at least acting as maybe sort of a mentor to Jack as he sort of builds up these forces so they can go up against Aku, because if there's one thing I've learned from all of this, Jack can't do this alone. He has the will, he has the power, if he can get the sword back, it's possible, but he's going to have to work together with people, and I think Ashi is going to be like the first stepping stone to making that happen. I, I still can't quite 
figure out what the relationship is between these two characters the way that Jack sees it. Maybe he sort of sees her as his very own surrogate daughter. A lot of people have theorized that these two characters are going to fall in love with one another. I, I see it more of like a uh, master and apprentice kind of relationship. And you can really see that it's come a long way after all the adventures that they've been through and all of the horrors that Jack has actually showed to Ashi. She finally does realize what Aku is capable of and how he's sort of like manipulated the uh, entire world with his malice. It's just great and it leads to some pretty fantastic imagery in this episode which like I said is very reminiscent of the old Samurai Jack and they even brought back one of the crazy traditions of giving Jack another ridiculous costume which I, I know I'm not the only one who was laughing my ass off when both him and Ashi were going up in the elevator and when the elevator doors open you get this look at Jack who has this ridiculous suit on with his big hat and Ashi is just giving him this look that it was just basically saying like what the fuck are you wearing? It's good to know that despite the fact that this season of Samurai Jack is on Adult Swim and they can go into some darker, more violent territory, that they still manage to keep the humor alive in the series. And that's always been, I think, one of the cornerstones of Samurai Jack, being incredibly atmospheric, very unique in its animation, really cool action scenes, but also knowing to make the viewers laugh from time to time. And this episode was sort of the perfect combination of that. You know, the Scotsman death, it wasn't so much shocking as it was funny because of how it actually happened. And you don't have to wait long to see his ghost. He, like, immediately pops up like, hey, bitches, I'm back! I do wish that we could have seen him in action a little bit more. I mean, aside from that one shot from the trailer that you see in this episode with him screaming and shooting his Gatling gun leg into the air, he doesn't really do all that much, aside from just insult Aku and get completely obliterated. But all that stuff with the Scotsman is really important. It's sort of planting the seeds for the true finale of Samurai. Jack because as much as I'm sure viewers want the series to continue, this is going to be the final season of Samurai Jack and will conclude the story, at least according to the creator of the series. If it is popular enough, maybe we'll get to see some more stories in the future, but I have a feeling that once all of this is done, Jack is also going to finally be able to cross over either by dying or maybe even going back in time and being able to re relive his life as a child. I'm interested to see how they're going to wrap it all up, and I'm even more interested to see how next week's episode is going to be handled, as it looks like it's mostly going to focus on the character of Ashi as she goes around actually looking for Jack as he suddenly disappeared after this tragic event with all of those children as he's following that mysterious samurai, who... I still can't pinpoint what that is or what it's really supposed to represent, what sort of metaphor it's supposed to be standing in for, if it actually is a physical character, if it's someone that Jack knows, someone that he hasn't met yet, something that he could become. I'm really interested to see that all come to fruition in next episode. So, great one right here. Again, another fantastic one for the series. A very classic episode of Samurai Jack with a lot of great visuals and, of course, the return of the Scotsman, which definitely deserves your attention. So, I'm going to give this episode another 5 out of 5. Another great episode of Samurai Jack. Let's make sure and tune in next week for another great episode. That's my thoughts on this week's episode. Make sure to tell me what you guys thought about it in the comments section below. What did you think of the return of the Scotsman and his sudden death? And are you hoping that the ghost of the Scotsman will eventually meet up with Samurai Jack? What is Ashi going to be doing in the next episode? What do you hope to see from her? And what do you hope to see from the rest of this fantastic season of Samurai Jack? Please tell me in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching this video. I can't thank you enough. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for all things Samurai Jack related, as well as tons of other anime reviews. Make sure to leave me a comment or two about what you thought about this week's episode. I'd love to talk with you guys about it. And of course, if you like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? I'll see you guys next time. And as always... Stay dandy, baby.